In this video, we are going to look at the anatomy of numbers in two different number systems, the decimal number system that you know very well, and the binary number system. So let's start with the decimal number system because you're more familiar with it. If we look at the price of this very expensive iPhone 4, uh, which is eight million uh, ten thousand fifty two dollars <throat> we uh, intuitively without really thinking about it too hard we're passing all of these digits into a value the way we do this without really thinking about it is we we assign the two as being the units right here and the, the five as being tens and these one hundreds these are the thousands, and these are the ten thousand, and these are the one hundred thousand, and finally these are the millions. So we know that there's eight millions, and there's one ten thousand, and there's five tens, and two twos. We add all of these numbers together, and that gives us the final value. There would be a different way of expressing this line in a manner that is a little bit more succinct and actually quite helpful in understanding other number system. We can say essentially that the 5 here is really, as the 10, is 10 to the power of 1. Okay, And, and the 100 is 10 to the power of 2. And likewise, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 4, 10 to the power of 5. And finally, 10 to the power of 6, 10 to the power of 6 being a million. Now, the units right here, by extending this logic, should be 10 to the power of 0. Remember that any values raised to the power of 0 is really one unit. So, if we were to decipher each of these digits based on their position, we would now say that they are 8 times 10 to the 6 plus... 0 times to the 5, so we're not going to write it, plus 1 times 10 to the 4, plus 0 times 10 to the 3, 0 times 10 to the 2, 5 times 10 to the 1, and finally 2 times 10 to the 0. If we add all of these values, we magically will end up with this value right here. So this is a, a lot of time of your life spent in doing something that you have taught your brain to do effortlessly. But I think it's important to go through this exercise because I am going to skip to a different number system. So if we are going here, our base okay, was 10. Okay, Each position is a different power of 10. In the binary system, we're doing exactly the same thing, except that we're assuming that the base is 2. Okay. So in other term, we can assign the values uh, in exponential form right here. So we ha will have 2 to the zeros, which are the units, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and finally 2 to the 10 right here. Uh, it would be helpful to uh, translate these values into uh, something that's a bit more intuitive for us. So these would be the units, and these would be the 2s. So if there was a 1 here, that would mean that there would be 1, 2 in the value, which is not the case. These are 4... 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 5, 12, and 10, 24. So now we have all the tools that we need in order to do our calculation. We know that this value, which is in binary, okay, so it's a binary value, in a decimal number system, okay, is going to be 10, 20, oh, not 10, 25, 10, 24, plus 5, 12, plus, oh, 
uh, 1 times 256 plus 1 times 128 plus 1 times 64 plus 0 times 32 and so on and so forth. So we are not going to write this. And if you uh, have metal lightning calculation or if you own a calculator you can determine that this value is 1984. Uh, if you're a bit of a movie buff you will probably make the connection between this value and that small diagram.